we built the world, Europe's first ORAN network in Germany with one on one. Tejas, we um, declared that they will be our partner, and we have we are into a partnership agreement now. J Japan is very quali mm. quality conscious; we right. cannot compromise on mm. quality. Mm. So once all the testing is done, maybe we'll also deploy these products in uh, Rakuten, Japan. I am Danish Khan from Money Control and we are joined by Shara Shirvastava who is uh, president of Rakuten Symphony and co-CEO of uh, Rakuten Mobile. So Sharad, welcome to the show. You are heading or you are, rather you are involved in two Rakuten companies. So would want to understand what Rakuten is doing with respect to India, how India is supporting Rakuten Symphony and how it is also helping power uh, help, helping the Rakuten Mobile's network uh, in Japan, if you can brief us uh, on, on those things. Sure. Thanks, Danish. Um, so, as you mentioned, two companies, but I'm also part of group. So, primary position is um, in Japan, they call it uh, Senior Managing Executive Officer for the Rakuten Inc. And then I'm co-CEO for Rakuten Mobile, which is the fourth operator in Japan and uh, president for Rakuten Symphony. To answer your question about uh, how our team in India is helping, um, so uh, we acquired many companies um, during the journey of building Rakuten Mobile Network and um, to start with the first one was based in Indore, so we have about 1000 people um, through that acquisitions who are uh, based in um, Indore and doing our OSS and automation. And the second company uh, was based in Bangalore, where most of the R&D resources for our uh, RAN software is based in Bangalore. And the third company is Robin, which is the cloud provider. So in summary, about 3,000 people in Rakuten Symphony are working in these three offices. Plus, we have another 2,000 working for Rakuten India, which are supporting uh, other group companies. Right. So Rakuten is known for taking the, the ORAN plunge globally. While in India we were discussing Open RAN and the technology adoption, but largely we have uh, brownfield telecom operators. Reliance Geo uh, was a greenfield, but that, uh, by that time uh, uh, the, the the real work did not uh, take off uh, on the ORAN front. So, what are the learnings so far on the on the ORAN front? How ORAN is powering Symphony's stack, and also ORAN how how ORAN is performing in Rakuten Mobile's uh, live network in Japan. Um, so we started with ORAN, disaggregation was key because uh, as fourth operator, um, unlike Geo, if you take Geo case, uh, Geo entered into India when others were providing 2G and 3G. So they differentiated on technology 4G, which is LTE and much faster. But for us, when we started, it was 4G spectrum um, and 4G and 5G was already deployed by other operators. So in terms of technology, there was no difference. So we had no choice but to enter as challenger by lowering our cost. So that's the, that was the main reason why we adopted this aggregation. So we have flexibility and cost advantage. And then the, through these acquisitions, we built a lot of uh, automation and hence improved operational experience efficiency so uh, in short in last seven years now we are have about 400,000 cells in the network um, with about 100,000 macro sites and the network is performing brilliantly we won many awards when it comes to uh, you know open signal or okla awards not just in japan but uh, we were global leader in certain kpis um, in uh, through rakuten mobile right so the software is well proven and we started taking it out as Rakuten Symphony, giving it to other operators. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to just the ORAN software, uh, we built the world, Europe's first ORAN network in Germany with one-on-one. Mm -hmm. -on -one. And in total, we have more than 25 million subscribers mm -hmm. running in Germany and mm -hmm. Rakuten Mobile now. Mm -hmm. So it's well proven. Mm -hmm. And this year, uh, uh, we are planning to do eight mm -hmm. other small deployments. Right. Um, we declared things like uh, Zane in Kuwait, mm -hmm. Movie phone, Mobitel, Telenor in Bangladesh, Grameen phone, uh, Kenya Telecom, and Kivistar in Ukraine. Right, so right. I think the time is coming up, and operators are realizing mm -hmm. that that's the future in order to prepare for 6G. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what are your, what are your views on the near term adoption of ORAN technology? Because uh, a lot of people, a lot of telcos have uh, talked about the ROI issues if they adopt ORAN. 
that. But you just mentioned that some operators globally uh, in, in Europe and other countries uh, have really uh, have actually adopted ORAN. So what are the learnings so far? Do you think that uh, the, the uh, adoption uh, towards ORAN will only pick pace from here and the issues around ROI will be solved over the period of time? So I don't think there was any issue to start with. That's the perception um, the incumbents have influenced uh, operators that this is the perception. When it comes to actual TCO, if you look at seven-year TCO, um, I'm sure you know uh, there is no reason why ORAN should be expensive. Right. Because it's the same hardware hmm. and f companies like us, when hmm. it comes to software, hmm. we are not that big and our software will be cheaper hmm. than hmm. you know uh, other players. So there is no reason why ORAN will be expensive. That's first point. Second, uh, if you look at uh, late, latest deployments, greenfield deployments, um, be it Rakuten Mobile and then Dish in US or the third one on one I mentioned, all green fields are by default ORAN. Mm. When it comes to brownfield, um, now TELUS uh, announced a couple of years back and they are already deploying uh, ORAN network. So slowly things are progressing mm. with the AT&T announcement. Um, right. It's a big thing. Mm. Uh, though mm. the bo you know, as of now it's only Ericsson, but a lot of trials, a mm. lot of POCs are going for disaggregation. Right, right. A lot of Indian companies uh, were also supporting or rather they have been supporting Rakuten in terms of their Symphony uh, product portfolio. And Tejas Network is one of the companies uh, 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 which is kind of uh, more prominent in terms of uh, your alliance. So what sort of arrangement do you have with Tejas? What sort of support they are providing? What sort of technologies uh, they are building for Rakuten and Rakuten Symphony? So with uh, Tejas, we um, declared that they will be our partner and we, have, we are into a partnership agreement now. And they will be providing us the RU, the radio unit, the mm. hardware, and we will be providing the DU and CU. So if you go to our booth at uh, mm. IMC today, I just saw uh, very good results. We have uh, demonstrated actual 32 TR uh, coming from Tejas and also the core network coming from Tejas and the DU CU coming from Rakuten Symphony mm. and it's live. Uh, we just made, you know, multiple live calls. Right, right. right. Are there more Indian companies uh, uh, supporting Rakuten uh, Symphony? We are evaluating. Hmm. Um, see, um, uh, in Rakuten Mobile, hmm. we have deployed more than 14 RU vendors. Okay. okay. Right. But uh, none of them, as of now, hmm. is uh, coming from India. Right. And though we are doing the trials, um, and hopefully, once, you know, J Japan is very quali mm. quality conscious, we right. cannot compromise on mm. quality. Mm. So once all the testing is done, maybe we'll also deploy these products in uh, Rakuten, Japan. Right, right. So Rakuten now is known for open run uh, uh, bet in the, in the global telecom uh, industry. In India, BSNL uh, is also deploying indigenous 4G stack, which is upgraded, uh, upgradable to 5G. Tejas is again involved along with TCS and CDOT. How do you see India's uh, effort uh, efforts towards building its own stack? Do you think this is the right move uh, uh, on our part? This is definitely the right move. Mm. Uh, uh, be you know, uh, Modi ji's you know ambition of uh, made in India. Yeah, that's very good. And the 4G stack is pretty good. And uh, we are working with Tejas, and we also met with BSNL and folks and. We are trying to do a POC soon mm. uh, with BSNL on the 5G. Okay, okay. Right, right, right. So from, from here, uh, what role do you see of India in terms of uh, telecom technology advancement? Uh, do, you, do, you, do you see India's role uh, uh, getting bigger and bigger going forward in terms of developing the technology? Because currently 4G stack has been built. Now talks are on the 5G. Then in future, 6G will also come where the convergence will happen between uh, terrestrial network and SATCOM network. So what are your views on that, if you could give me some color? So today, as uh, the, you know, uh, I think Sindhya ji mentioned that uh, we were behind 4G in 4G and we are at par with the uh, global deployments in 5G, but uh, India will be ahead in 6G. That's for sure. Given the advancement and the, given the startup culture that is developing, <coughs> there is no lack of skill set, you know, they even uh, other global players are using uh, teams in India to de um, develop those. So why not Indian companies? Right, right. So as a, as a leader working with a prominent Japanese com uh, company, what sort of uh, challenges you have faced so far? What are the learnings so far? And what sort of advice you want to give to Indian <coughs> companies, Indian startups in, in terms of leadership? If you could, could, could kind of help us uh, 
get some color on that i think um, rakuten and japan uh, the perception at least i had i worked in many countries and uh, japan is very different i thought it will be very challenging but uh, thankfully at rakuten um, we all adopt english as official language so that's not a problem and uh, in our my team itself you know 60 70% people are non japanese and most of them are from india so things um, you know if the intention is right motivation is right you keep the team together um, country doesn't matter right 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 any last concluding comment uh, to summarize our discussion and india's role uh, going forward i am very excited with you know i am see this is first time i attended this but i see a lot of talent here a lot of skill set lot of energy um, that's very good and hopefully in next couple of years uh, the 4g stack or the 5g partnership that we are trying to do with tejas we can take it global and not just tejas you know uh, with tcs or mm. with other uh, ru players in india well on that note uh, we can safely conclude this uh, uh, discussion i hope you you partner with more indian companies and we have more news to cover thank you very much sharad i just want to you know we just uh, also signed with polystack that's okay. a company and uh, that's on a different uh, space okay. or, uh, that's a cloud and mm. um, that will be used by different services it's a ruggedized box okay. uh, so you can say cloud in a box where we will provide the software hardware is made in india that was be, uh, mm. done by polystack and um, that's already in progress so not just ran but also on cloud right right well well it's always uh, good to connect uh, sharad then hope to meet you again with more uh, discussion points thank you very much definitely thank, thank you. you thank you danish thank you.